Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome back to the new update of the stable build 0 0.36 Stranded Deep. They um, they took a whole bunch of experimental builds and they just crammed it into this 0 0.36 uh, stable build. I'm so very excited. And um, I'd like to really quickly go over the new things they changed in the map editor. Uh, not too long, but uh, I like to make maps, but maybe not all of you. I already created a map, I have to spawn it in still, but I just wanted to show you here um, the new things that we can add to it, to our island, if you're so making them. One of the things they changed is here in the menu, you can now uh, just do this and see how your shadows behave and whatnot. So that is pretty cool. In terms of objects, what now is possible? Um, let's go into trees. You, we can now finally spawn in these harvestable uh, ficus trees. There are three of them that normally appear in on random generated islands, but now we can have these on our own islands. And you already can see piggies. I'll touch that in a second. We can um, spawn them in as well. That was not possible before. Uh, another thing that we can now spawn in under rocks are the mineable rock clay nodes and the normal mining rocks. So that is pretty cool. Now, animals. We have the pig you already seen, but we can spawn in crabs as well. Or it's there. We can spawn in the night snake. Is it night snake? I think it's the name. So that is pretty cool. That's as far as I can tell you the changes, except for two more actually. They put everything in alphabetical order, finally, I have to say, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, so that's a good thing. And I noticed because what another fix they say they did is every item now has this correct symbol and everything and it's true everything is working fine but the crude bow if you try to spawn that one in it's invisible look so yeah that's the thing they need to fix that's the only items thus far that i came across that is uh, invisible for some reason uh, when you place it so I'm not even sure when you actually enter the game if it's still there or not. All right, so um, they added the day timer, uh, day of time of day timer, <laughs> the figure tree, the board, the snake, the crab, um, to fix the object missing preview icons. Um, they did something with the memory leaks. They fixed and a few other things, technical things that improve your experience, making it faster. There's a snake I spawned in right over there. All right, let's get out of here and let's get into the game. All right, there we are in our new world. And let me go over the changes already um, because they did so many things. For example, normally islands, they drop down deep. <laughs> um, and that was a really strange change. I don't know when it was done, but um, now they smoothen it out and it looks really good so you can actually you now walk into the water a bit further off your island i really like that change really good all right now on my previous videos couple of videos i got a lot of complaints from people saying my bar my um, hunger bar and my thirst bar they drop so rapidly it's bugged and how is it possible and could I try to reproduce it? I can tell you now, guys, what the problem is. It's not a problem. It's simply a game mechanic. You're having a heat stroke. Literally, it's in the game. You're having a heat stroke, and that is causing this um, serious drop of your health. So from this point on, stable build, yeah, 0 0.36, it's now really a survival game because if you don't fix your heat stroke, you're really into a lot of problems like in real life so let me just gather some resources here or actually what we're going to do is we're going to um, let me double tap W we have automatic walk now even run if you put in the shift key 
Oh, and what happens there? Yeah, crabs are now pinching you with their little pinchers. <laughs> they don't really hurt, to be honest. But uh, it's funny they put this in. So auto walk is really good, but it's not only walking. Um, it's also sailing. So double tap now and um, I'm not touching the keyboard. And we are moving automatically. All right, so I see this island with a big hill. So that must be my homemade island. We we'll go there um, so I can show you a few other things. But in the meantime, let me go over all the fixes and things they added to this. It's a lot, it's a big list, <laughs> I have to say. Um, besides the three new um, missions, the eel mission, the Megalodon mission, and the giant squid mission, which they add in, which you saw already on the map, that's now into the stable, stable build as well, along with the trophies that you can unlock if you defeat the bosses. Um, so they added the crab attack behavior, you've seen that. Crabs now do a very small amount of damage. It's really, it's nothing, but maybe a little bit annoying, that's all. They changed the bandages, the amount of the, uh, that they restore your health bar by two now. Um, when healing bleeding status effect, that is. All right, so uh, they added the double tap function. Uh, to lock forward movement and if you just hit the key backwards to, to walk backwards it will stop and these key that you can actually switch off if you don't like it it's a little bit sensitive and maybe some people don't like it if you go to the menu um, I think it was in input so you can toggle this one off and on for auto walk same for crouch and the radial dial menu options I'll show you that in a second um, that you can change as well. All right, um, let's see. So about the radial dial system, I will show you that in a little bit once we hit the island. It's really convenient that you don't have your touch your keyboard now, it just moves forward automatically. <laughs> I really like that change. Um, they did something with uh, a couple of stuff with uh, the rendering, such as uh, the translucency rendering method reduced performance overhead. It was really, really good. They implemented the new post FX stack. I, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it significantly reduces performance overhead for effects that I like, that I do understand. So that's a good thing. They added proper ambient inclusion quality settings. So you can go to low, medium and high right now in the uh, graphics menu. Uh, they added a new temporal anti-aliasing effect. I need to check how I can show you that. Um, another big change, what they did is they reduced the weather frequency. Um, I think most of you know that storms are now a big thing in the game. Um, but they were extremely frequent, uh, frequent, and in one of the last experimental versions, they changed that. They brought it back from spawning a 70% chance of a storm back to 35%. So that's really a really nice change. Okay, let's see. I spawned a snake over here, and I think that will work just fine. Yeah, he spooked, so I'm going. <laughs> All right, we have some boars over here, or at least one. Uh, we can hunt them. I'll have to hunt them in a second. And there's another snake. Go away. Yeah, what you can do now is if you make your own items, these barrels, they don't spawn um, if it's randomly generated. But if you make your own islands, you can actually spawn the barrels in, which is really, really good. Um, and the bed is gone have a sleeping bed now. Well, I show you that later. Uh, for now, what I want to show you, I'm going to try is in the release notes, they say they changed the skinning animation. Oh, I'd like to check that out. If I can hit them right. These are refined, so they should be doing a bit more damage. I think two spears will do. Okay, let's run after him. Don't know how many piggies I have here running around. Alright, what else did they change? Wow, well, let me just double tap W there. Um, yeah, so what you can do, if you pick something up like this, you can now right click and drop your items from the menu. Also, these keys are rebindable. 
So that's really good. And a good thing to know, I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. All for science, right? So what they say is they changed. I haven't seen that, the skinning animation. Let's have a look. Well, maybe slightly how he moves his hand. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a change. Oh, gross! And actually, the knife is a refined knife now. I tried to spawn a crude knife. Uh, I was not able to. Oh, gross! Oh, that's a lot. All right. Um, can I actually? Let's see. Yeah, it's just a refined knife. All right, cool. So about that beep and the health bar, right? Many people say suddenly my health dropped suddenly my hunger dropped what is going on there's a big bug into the game and you see you actually saw it drop right there the problem is right now i have a heat stroke that is the problem um that is new that was i think implemented in the last experimental build this guys is what your problem is you can see my uh, thirst is dropping like crazy and once that is dropping my hunger will start dropping as well so yeah, we are having a proper survival game right now and many people say I don't like it, but this is where Stranded Deep is headed and personally I really, really like that. So to fix at least your heat stroke, I'm going to assume you have to be into the shade. I spawned some medicines which we can try out, but I think I will do that in my let's play. Alright, so um, having said that, oh, well, let me stand in the sun for a second here. So it will go down. You see how fast it went down. It's uh, it's not a joke. So uh, as you can see as well, I was in the shade for a short time amount of time. Heat stroke is gone, which is a little bit crazy. But well, this is how you fix it. And you have to drink and eat and you'll be sorted. All right. I think that is about it. So we can craft sleeping bags now. It replaces the bed. Um, the upgrade it to Unity. Uh, 5.6.3, that's pretty cool, because then we get always better performance and better other features. Um, and I think that is it for the biggest part, yeah. There were some other things, but I'm going to cover that in the Let's Play. So, I hope you liked this episode, it was me talking a lot, but, well, <laughs> they put so much in this stable build, I thought that was the only way to explain it to you guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching, I will see you at the Let's Play, hope you watch and support my video series on that one. Have a great day and we'll see you next time, bye!